Kevin and I are going to try the Snack Factory Pretzel Crisps. These are dark chocolate and peppermint. They were $2.79 at Walgreens. And these are the uh, seasonal holiday edition. We did a review, I think it was like a three-part or four-part series, trying the Snack Factory Pretzel Crisps because we had never tried any of them. And I'm... I don't know why I have it in my mind that they have another um, holiday one, maybe a white chocolate, so I will keep looking for that just in case they do. This, this was the only one we saw today. So, um, one ounce or four crackers are 120 calories. Wow. So, so 30 calories a piece, yeah. It says, celebrate the season with our new doubly delicious all-natural dark chocolate and peppermint pretzel crisps. We've dipped our all-natural, thin, and irresistibly crunchy pretzel crisps in rich, velvety, real dark chocolate and then sprinkled each one with a del delicate burst of refreshing peppermint candy pieces. The perfect combination of sweet indulgence and salty crunch pretzel, pretzel crisps are sure to become a delicious part of your holiday traditions for years to come. Even better, try them frozen for an extra special treat. Share these delightfully delicious pretzel crisps with your friends. Hmm. Um, I can see where frozen... Frozen with, chocolate's good. Anyway. Frozen chocolate is good. So, let us open the goodness. Oh. It's not good. It's not very chocolatey. Very chocolatey. Yeah, 30 calories a piece. Okay, I'm just going to dump them all out in this bowl because this is the entire bag. It's four ounces. So this is how many you get for four ounces. It says there are four servings per container. So there's probably, what, 16 crackers then. Right. So... I'm going to hold my opinion. Tell me what you think. I uh -huh. just shoved the whole thing in my mouth like I did a hog. Too, but I eat faster. Um, in my opinion, the, it's very good. First of all, I'm going to say it's good. It, it it's good. Not, it, how could you not be go wrong with, um, with uh, dark chocolate and peppermint? For me... I really don't taste the peppermint. The dark chocolate overrides everything. No, I was going to say the exact same thing. I'm time. not getting peppermint. Are no, you? Not at all. They could have at least mixed. I think the only peppermint flavor you get are from the little candy pieces, and there's not enough balance between the amount of candy pieces and the chocolate. If they'd mix pepperon uh, pepperoni, I'm saying all kinds of weird stuff. Um, if they'd mix pepperoni with it, um, if they'd mix pepperon pep peppermint... <laughs> oil in with the chocolate like if they put the, an extract or something in with the chocolate and made the chocolate peppermint um it would have added so much more flavor because that would have been a good combination but as it is you can really only taste the chocolate i mean it's good it's good chocolate but mm -hmm. i don't know that i would um i wonder if you're adding a little extra calories for that little bit of peppermint that doesn't really do anything i don't know it, it, i mean like we said um if you like the Snack Factory pretzels, they have a uh, chocolate anyway. If you like those, definitely get get these. I don't even know if you necessarily need to be a peppermint lover uh, to get these, just because you're gonna you're gonna just taste dark chocolate. I'm wondering if the dark chocolate with regular dark chocolate ones though are less calories though. Oh, I see. If they're if the regular dark chocolate's less calories, then just get those because you're not gonna. I mean, like that. Anything. See, there's hardly any. There's hardly any peppermint on that at all. No. And like I said, the chocolate's not infused with anything. It's and literally ones, just the candy. Yeah, the ones that do have it just don't, it's just not enough. It's no. So if you're judging it for the peppermint, then it's a fail. Yeah, it's um, a really good pretzel, but it's a really bad peppermint pretzel. <laughs> right, right. So hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.